Amen. We're going right along to our congregational prayer, and the team is frustrate the plan of the wicked. Frustrate the plan of the wicked. And I pray that indeed God will frustrate every plan of the wicked once against us in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And the book of Isaiah 63, verse 7. Isaiah 63, verse 7 says, I will tell of the kindness of the Lord, the deeds for which he is to be praised, according to all the Lord has done for us. Yes, the many good things he has done for Israel, according to his compassion and many kindnesses. Yes, I know we have given God thanks, but yet we, I want us to thank him again. Let's thank God for all he has done for us, all he is doing for us, and all he will do for us. Let's thank God for him preserving our lives, for the salvation of our soul, for our families near and far, for, for, for our nation, for our city, for peace, for safety. Let's just begin to appreciate the Lord for the many good things he has done for us in Jesus' name. Father in heaven, Lord, I thank you once again for who you are. I thank you for all you have done. I thank you for all you have done for me, all you have done in my life. I thank you for what you have done in my family. I thank you for what you're doing in the church. Thank you, Lord, for what you're doing in every home. Thank you, Lord, for what you're doing in the city of Calgary. Thank you for what you're doing in the nation of Canada. I thank you for your peace that surrounds us, even as, uh, as, uh, as the mountains surround Jerusalem, oh God. Father, I thank you. I thank you for safety all around. I thank you for we can take stock of our properties, and we find that there is nothing missing. We thank you for healing. We thank you for good health. We thank you for not allowing the plague that is going through the land to come near us. We thank you, O oh God, for not allowing the sword of the wicked ones to be us. Father, we thank you. We appreciate you. We bless your name and we give you praise. For in Jesus' name, we are prayed. Amen. Amen. Isaiah 59 verse 20 says, The Redeemer will come to Zion, to those in Jacob. Who repent of their sins, declares the Lord. It says, the Redeemer will come to Zion. Those, the Redeemer will come to Zion to those in Jacob who repent of their sins, declares the Lord. So this morning, I just want us to come before our merciful God. Let's ask that he will please forgive us, that he will draw us near to him, that he will give ear to us, even as we repent of our sins this day in Jesus. Then shall we begin to confess our sins? Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, I come to you, Lord. You said, oh God, you will draw us near to you, Lord. Father, this morning, Lord, I ask that you draw me near to you, Lord. I come before you, Lord, confessing every of my sin, every sin that I've committed, every sin that will stand against me, every sin that will be an hindrance in my, to my blessing. Lord Almighty, I ask that you forgive me, that you will cleanse me, Lord. Every judgment that is standing against me, I pray, Father, that you will, you, you will nullify them with the blood of Jesus. Father, every sin, oh God, that I've committed, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Forgive us every sin that the church has partaken in, oh God. Father, we ask for your mercy. We ask, Father, for that your mercy will prevail in our lives, will prevail in our families, will prevail in the church we prevail over the land in the mighty name of jesus father we thank you we give you praise for in jesus name we are prayed amen. amen daniel chapter 2 verse 47 says the king said to daniel surely your god is the god of gods and the lord of kings and the revealer of mysteries for you were able to reveal this mystery Daniel was able to reveal the mystery to the king. And also in Amos 3, 7, Bible says, Surely the sovereign Lord does nothing without revealing his plan to his servant, the prophet. So we are praying and saying, uh, we, are, we are praying and we are thanking God again. Let's thank God for revealing, for, for he is the revealer of secrets. Let's thank God for he has not left his church wanting. He has not left his people in darkness. Let's thank God for the word that he reveals to us in its season in Jesus. Let's pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I thank you, Lord, for you are the revealer of secrets. You said you will do nothing without revealing to you, revealing to your servants, but to the prophet. Father, we thank you for giving us the word in season, for giving us the word even out of season. Thank you, Lord, for that which you are said to do, for revealing it to us. And Lord, even as you reveal it to us, we ask for the grace to walk in it, for the grace to manifest, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We we'll bless you and we give you praise. For in Jesus' name we are prayed. Amen. Amen. Zechariah 3 1 says, Then he showed me Joshua the high priest standing before the angel of the Lord and, sta and Satan standing at his right hand to accuse him. While Joshua was presented 
before the high priest, before the angel of the uh, why Joshua, the high priest himself, was standing before the angel of the Lord. The Bible said the devil, the Satan, was standing at his right hand in order to accuse him. So we are praying to God this morning and saying, Mighty God, please remove every garment of shame. Every garment of error that is upon the church, every garment of error that is upon our families, that the enemy is using to accuse your church. Lord Almighty, please remove them today in Jesus' name, shall we pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, even as you told that angel to remove that filthy garment that was upon Joshua the high priest, Lord Almighty, we come to you this morning. Every sin in our foundation, every error in our foundation, whatever it is that we have done, that the enemy, that Satan, is now using to accuse us. Lord, we ask that your mercy will prevail. We ask, Almighty God, that you remove this garment of shame. You remove this garment of reproach. You will remove this garment of mediocrity. You will give, remove this garment of stagnancy. You remove this garment of littleness, that indeed we may walk in the favor, that we may walk in the blessing that you have released upon your church, even now, in the mighty name of Jesus. For in Jesus' name, we are prayed. Amen. Psalm 11 verse 3 says, When the foundations are dis being destroyed, yeah. what can the righteous do? Yeah. The righteous can do something. They can pray. They can see God's face. Yeah. So this morning, I want us to call on to God and say, God, the repairer of foundations, please repair the foundation of my life. Please repair the foundation of the church. Please repair the foundation of Jesus' life ministries. Now in Jesus' name shall we pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Father, everything that may be hidden to man is revealed to you. And we ask Almighty God, you the repairer of foundations, we invite you into the foundation of our lives. We invite you into the foundation of the church. We invite you, Almighty God, into the foundation of Jesus' life ministry. We pray, Father, that what Whatever either is not of you, whatever Lord is not he, 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 he has not been planted by you, Father. Today let them be uprooted, let them be destroyed. Father, repair our foundation, repair our foundation, oh God. Whatever it is about our foundation, Father, that has caught that's brought about limitation, that has brought about uh, mediocrity, that has brought about stagnation. Father, Lord, we ask that you repair today in the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' name we pray. Ephesians 5 27 says and to present art to himself as a radiant church without stain or wrinkle or any other blemish but holy and blameless God wants us to want to present us to himself as holy and without uh, blame so we are praying and say my father and my God please present your church to yourself purge her of every impurities in the name of Jesus let's pray Father, in the name of Jesus, you said, O oh Lord, that you are desired to present to yourself, you, you, you to present the church to yourself as a radiant church, one without wrinkles, one without stain, one without blemish, but one that is holy, one that is blameless. Father, we pray this morning that you present your church to yourself, present light chapel to yourself as one that is holy, as one that is that, that is blameless, as one that is without wrinkles, as one that is without blemish in the name of Jesus. Father, present your church to yourself, O oh God. Purge her of every impurities. Purge her of every unrighteousness. Father, I pray, for in Jesus' name we are prayed. Amen. Amen. In Job chapter 5, verse 22, the Bible tells us that we will laugh at destruction. It says you will laugh at destruction and famine and need not fear the wild animals. And we are praying to God Almighty that he will shield us from famine because there was a revelation concerning famine. That is why we are praying about it now. And we ask the mighty God, please shield us from the famine that is to come upon the land. Rather that, Father, that we will not partake of this famine, that, that, that we will not lose the good things that you have blessed us with, but rather you will cause us to laugh even in the face of famine. You will cause us to be, to be satisfied, to, to, be in, to, to, to be content even in times of famine in Jesus' name. Shall we pray? Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I pray, O oh Lord, that you will shield us from the famine that is coming upon the earth, from the scourge, from the purge that is coming upon the earth. We ask that you will shield us. We pray, Father, that you protect us in the name of Jesus. For your word says, a thousand shall fall at our side, ten thousand at our right hand. You said none of this evil will come 
near us, but rather it is with our eyes that we shall see and behold the reward of the wicked. Father, we pray, O oh Lord, that concerning the famine that is coming upon the land, you will shield us, you will shield us, you will shield us, you will protect us, that we will not partake of this, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. For you have supplied all our needs in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We bless your name. For in Jesus' name, we are prayed. Amen. Amen. Psalm 37 verse 19 says, In times of disaster, they will not wither. Amen. In days of famine, they will enjoy plenty. Amen. Also, Genesis 26 12 says, Isaac planted crops in that land. Yeah. And in the same year, he reaped a hundredfold because yeah. the Lord had blessed him. Yeah. The preceding verse, you understand, that when Isaac planted, it was in a time of famine. It was in a time where people were leaving to go to Egypt. People were leaving and God told him to stay there. And he obeyed the word of God. And the Bible said he planted, he did not just stay. He planted crops in that land. That land that was not yielding. That land that, that, that there was drought. And the Bible said in that same year, he yielded, he reaped a hundredfold. Why? Because the Lord has blessed him. So we're praying and say, oh God, let your people receive the grace that was upon Isaac. That indeed we too may reap a hundredfold. That we too may reap, reap a harvest in the times of famine. In Jesus' name shall we pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, that grace, that blessing that was upon Isaac, that when he sold in the time of famine, the Bible recorded that he reaped, that he harvested a hundredfold. Father, let that same grace be manifest in our lives. Let that same grace be manifested upon us, O oh God. Even in the spiritual realm, Father, let that grace, O oh God, be exempt. Let it be manifest, Lord, in Jesus' name, that as we sow, we will reap a hundredfold. We will reap a thousandfold. We will reap, O oh God, in multiples, Lord, in Jesus' name, that we will not experience loss. We will not experience lack in the mighty name of Jesus. That in the times of famine, we will experience an abundance in the mighty name of Jesus. For in Jesus' name, we are praying. Revelation 6, 6 says, Then I heard what sounded like a voice among the four living creatures saying, Two pounds of wheat for a day's wages, and six pounds of barley for a day's wages, and do not damage the oil and the wine. We're praying as a mighty God, even as plague and famine is coming upon the earth. Even as they are decreed upon the land, may our oil, that is our faith, and may our wine, that is our joy, not be touched in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, I pray that you give us the grace that our faith in your word, our faith in you will not fail. It will not falter because of these plagues in Jesus' name. Shall we pray? Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we pray, O oh Lord, that even, O oh God, are there is impending doom to come upon the land. We ask, Almighty God, that our faith, our joy in you, Father, will be resolute, O oh God. Nothing will steal our joy. Nothing will steal our faith. Nothing will cause our, 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 our trust in you to wander, Lord, in Jesus' name. But, Lord, our God, you will cause our feet to be planted upon the rock to sing in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray, Lord, that our faith will not fail. Our faith will not falter because of these plagues, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We we'll bless your name. For in Jesus' name. We are praying. Amen. Ecclesiastes 9.9 9 says, Enjoy life with your wife, yes. whom you love, all the days of your meaningless life that God has given you under the sun, all your meaningless days, for this is your lot in life and in your toilsome labor under the sun. We are also praying as a mighty God, I decree that my marriage, I decree that my family is sustained in the name of Jesus, Amen. that the enemy will not cheat us, out of the blessings of the Lord, that what God has indeed joined together, that no power, no man, no principalities shall be able to put asunder in the name of Jesus, shall we pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I thank you, Lord Almighty, because marriage is of you. Marriage is a blessing. It is a gift from you. And I thank you for my marriage. I thank you for my husband. Thank you for my children. Thank you, Lord, for every marriage that you have ordained, O oh God. I thank you for these marriages are sustained in the name of Jesus. And I pray, O oh Lord Almighty, that the enemy, that the devil will not cheat us out of our reward in the name of Jesus. That the blessings that is in our marriage, the fulfillment that is in our marriage, we will not lose it. We will not lose it. The enemy, the devil, will not cheat us out of it in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We bless your name. For in Jesus' name, we are prayed. Amen. Revelation 7, 3 says, do not harm the land 
or the sea or the trees until we put a seal on the foreheads of the servants of our God. Yeah. Until they have that, we also see that in the book of uh, Ezekiel, where God said they should, they should put a mark upon those that are serving God faithfully, trust, uh, you know, that are serving God faithfully. Why? So that when plagues will come, so that when famine will come, so that it will not touch them. So we are praying and saying, asking God, God, please mark and seal your people so that no harm, no famine, no disaster, no divorce, no breakups will come near your people in the name of Jesus. And we pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, the Bible says that because I bear the mark of Christ, let no power, let no man trouble me. And Lord Almighty, we ask today, Lord, that you will seal your people with the blood of the Lamb. You will seal your people with the mark of redemption. You will seal your people with the mark of safety. That when evil is upon the land, it will not touch them in the name of Jesus. That when famine comes, when disaster comes, when threats against marriages come, we will stand firm. Nothing will shake us no evil will touch us in the mighty name of Jesus by your mighty hand father you will sustain us you will uphold us with your right hand of righteousness in the name of Jesus father we decree today that Lord as we carry your mark upon us no evil shall touch us no principalities that touch us no power shall be able to touch us in the mighty name of Jesus father we thank you we bless your name for in Jesus name we are prayed and lastly, the Bible tells us in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 33, verse 3, it says, Call to me and I will answer you and tell you great and unsearchable things that you do not know. So this morning, let's thank God, to God. Let's thank God because indeed we have called on him and therefore he will answer us. And therefore he will tell us the great and the unsearchable things that we do not know. Let's thank God for answering our prayers today in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you, Lord, for indeed you are the God that answers prayers. You are faithful to your word. You said we should call on you and you will answer us. And Father, as we have called on to you this morning, thank you for we have confidence that you have heard us. Thank you for the confidence that we know that you have answered us. Thank you for your, for, for your security upon our lives. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your power. Thank you for your shield. Thank you for your banner of protection. Thank you, Lord, for in the midst of famine, we will not lack any good thing. Father, we thank you for your word that is coming forth today father we thank you we appreciate you we bless your name we give you praise for all that you have done we give you all the glory lord for in jesus name we are praying amen, amen.